What's up guys, right now I'm in the West African nation of Burkina Faso in the capital of Ouagadougou with my friend Marlon and he told me that there are some crocodiles uh, in a village about an hour outside of the city. So what's the name of the village? It's Bazoulé. Bazoulé. And I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. <laughs> so what, what's going to happen? Give me a rundown. Uh, we're trying to get out some crocodiles you can see nearby. We even see if there's a possibility for you to touch them. I've never touched a crocodile, I've never wanted to touch one, so... <laughs> it might be the last time. It might be the last time. <laughs> if you guys never hear from me again, then it was nice meeting you. And uh, <laughs> Alright, it's going to be an adventure ahead. We'll see you there. We arrived to the village, and instead of seeing crocs, I see this. We stumbled upon this festival in the middle of a village. Everybody's dancing and celebrating and... It's a pretty cool atmosphere to see. Ça va bien? <laughs> Everybody is hanging out, smiling, and dancing away in the 42 degree heat. I even got the chance to meet the royal chief of the village. Salam alaikum. Ça va bien? And then I was given a tour of how they make the local beer. They put it in there for several. Which gave me flashbacks to Swaziland of last year. Do they drink these beers? Yeah. It's very sour. I drank it out of respect, but it's really thick and sour and nasty. <laughs> Is that really beer? <laughs> Then we proceeded to walk to the other side of the village where I met Peter. Uh -huh, bonjour, bonjour. Ça va? Who took us down to the pond where the crocs live. And I see a crocodile five meters in front of me. I'm a little bit scared. Wait, this is crazy. I'm surrounded by crocodiles right now. One there. One there. <laughs> there, there. Uh, my name is Peter. I come from Burkina Faso. Okay, so I can see there's a crocodile right there. Do you live with the crocodiles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I live uh, with a crocodile. How do you know it's safe to... They're not going to bite you? How do you know? Well, because our crocodiles are sacred. They don't eat human. It's an ancestor. It protects the village. So how many crocodiles are here? We have a 200 crocodiles, but the children can swimming, no problems. Like, do you care for them? Do you feed them or you just live next uh, to them? The crocodile eat a, a chicken, fish, frogs. Is this a male or female? This is a male. And how old? The male is big, than female is small. How old is he? Uh, Forty years. And how old do they live? Uh, one hundred fifty. Come, come. You sure? Yeah, you can go to touch it, no problems. There's crocodiles everywhere. The biggest experience. <laughs> come, come, come. Hold on, get this guy, get this one away from me. Yeah, but he moved, meaning he's upset. No, 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 no. <laughs> he wasn't upset. I'm too scared. You can't refuse. True, please. What if he flips around and bites me? He does, he won't. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in Burkina Faso and I'm sitting on an... I can't even talk. I'm in Burkina Faso and I'm sitting on a crocodile. Oh my god, that's so crazy. You see? Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was officially one of the scariest moments of my life, but I did it. Thank you guys. The pass. You're welcome. I sat on a crocodile. Wow. <laughs> My heart's so racing. <laughs> I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. 